Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can add reCAPTCHA in your Laravel registration form. So this is really simple, let me just first show you the example. So over here you can see we have the reCAPTCHA over here and this is our registration form. So let's just give a random name over here and an email and let's just give a password, confirm password. And then if I just do not click on this I am not a robot option and directly click register it will give us an error. Let me just show you if I click register. Here you can see it showing us invalid recaptcha. So right now we'll just keep the password again. And right now this time we'll click on this option. I am not a robot and we'll click register. And there you can see it took us to the dashboard properly. So let's just log out from here. So right now in this tutorial I'm going to show you everything from the very beginning, step by step, how you can add recaptcha in your registration form so this is really simple let me just close this and let's go and create a fresh laravel project so i'll just directly go to my project folder and over here we are going to create a laravel project let me just open the command prompt and let me just zoom in and let's over here laravel new and let's our project name will be laravel recapture okay let's press enter and it will create our laravel project so i'll just fast forward the video for now so here you can see our project creation is complete so right now we are going to go to our project directory so let's start over here laravel cd laravel recaptcha and let's run our project php artisan serve and let me just copy this and let's go to our browser press enter and these are freshly created laravel project so first of all we are going to add authentication for our laravel project so for authentication you can use jstream or please it doesn't matter for this tutorial we are going to use jstream so right now let's go to our project and install jstream in our project so i'll go to my folder and this is our project laravel recapture and inside this let's open another command prompt let me just zoom in and over here we are going to say composer require laravel slash jstream press enter and it will install jstream in a laravel project so i'll just fast forward the video so jstream is installed and after jstream we are going to install liber so for it we are going to say php artisan jstream clone install liber press enter again and it will install liber in our project so after liber installation we are going to run this command npm install press enter after npm install we are going to say npm run build so after npm run build we need to migrate our database so but before we migrate our database let me just open the project let me just open the project using sublime text so i'll just directly go to my laravel recapture project and open it and let me just close the pbs project and directly if we will just directly go to my env folder and by default here you can see the database name is laravel recapture so let's go and create database for laravel recaptcha so let me just go to my piece my admin then i'll click new and here i'll give my database name click create okay it's set up so right now let's go to our common prompt and over here we are going to say php artisan migrate press enter and here you can see migration is done so right now if we refresh uh, here you can see there is some new table in our laravel recaptcha database so right now if you go to our project and if we now refresh over here here you can see we have the login and registration option and if we click register over here you can see this is our registration form so right now we need to add the recaptcha option over here but before that we need to install a few package for recaptcha so let's go to our common prompt over here and here we are going to say composer require this call up slash laravel minus recaptcha ptcha then we'll press enter and it will install recaptcha in our laravel project so after this we need to run another command but before that let me just show you my project and here if you go to our project and if you now go to your config folder you will see that, that there is no recaptcha.php in the config folder so right now we'll just run a command that will create a recaptcha.php in our config folder so here we are going to say php artisan vendor clone publish then to minus and here we are going to say provider 
equal to then we will give a double quotation and inside it we are going to say this call up capital b i s c o l a p then backslash not forward slash backslash recapture backslash recapture service provider so r will be capital r e c will be capital c a p t c h a backslash again recapture capital c a p t c h a service provider s will be capital service u will be capital provider provider and at the end we need to use double quotation over here so make sure that you write this properly if you made a spelling mistake uh, you will get an error so we will now just press enter and here you can see it created a recapture.php file in our config folder so right now let's just minimize this and we will just directly go to our .env file and we will just directly go down and over here we will write two single line and that will be recapture site key so everything will be capital for this so we'll say over here re c a p t recapture underscore site underscore key equal and after it we are going to say recapture underscore secret underscore key and over here we need to give recapture site key and recapture secret key okay r will be capital recapture secret key so where can we get the recapture site key and recapture secret key so for it we need to go to our browser and over here we are going to say google.com slash recapture slash admin slash create okay do not worry i'll also give this link in the description so that you can just directly click it and go to this link so right now if you press enter it will take us to this space over here you can see we need to give level and we need to choose the type and the domain name and that's all so here in the label you can just name it anything let's just say over here laravel recapture and here we'll choose the recapture type 2 you can choose type 3 if you want but we'll go with type 2 recapture version 2 and there is a few more option you can choose the different one if you want but we'll keep on the choose the first one checkbox and over here in the domain if you have a website domain then you have to give your domain but right now we want we are trying to run our project in our local so for it we need to say about here local host and then press enter you do not have to add any http.com anything just say over here local host and press enter and then you will see something like this and if you add this on 27.0.0.on then it will not work over here okay just click on this accept the recapture terms of services and then you need to click over here submit and if you click submit then it will give you the uh, site key and the secret key so we we'll just copy the site key from here and paste it in our .env file again we will go to our browser copy the secret key and paste it in our .env file secret key so let's save it Control S. Uh, so right now we can just close this. So right now we will go to our config folder and over here uh, we will just directly do the config folder recapture.php over here and over here just press Control F and search for version. Over here you can see by default the version is V2. Uh, if you choose the version uh, over here version 3 then write over here v V3 it is by default too so that's fine so after this we are going to search for one more thing that is error underscore message which is this one error message key we are searching for this and here you can see your error message key called to validation recapture so instead of this we are just going to say over here invalid recapture you can write over here anything it doesn't mean that you have to also write invalid e-capture you can say you are a robot or something else that's fine so we just save this and we can just close this one so after this uh, we'll just run a command over here php artisan config clone cache C -A -C -A -G. so let's just minimize this so after this if we want to the recapture validation option in our registration page then we need to make some changes in our registration page so for it let's go to our project and we'll just directly go to our resource views and inside views we have auth and inside auth we have register.blade.php 
and in the register.blade.php at the head section we need to add a single line and the head section for register.blade.php is inside the layout and guest.blade.php over here so inside the here you can see head section so inside this head section we are going to add a single line let's just add it over here so here we'll give a second bracket and then two uh, I, I mean for this sign and inside it we are going to say html script s will be capital s c r p t script then tag t will be capital and j s api j will be capital and a will be capital api and at the end we need to add two first bracket so you just have to need to add this single line okay so let's just save it and after saving it you can just close this so after this again we'll go to our register.blade.php and we just directly go down and so before this already register button we are going to just add another div over here let's say over here div and inside this div we are going to say over here we'll give two second bracket and then again this fourth sign and inside it we are going to say html capital a for m form html form and sa knight i will pick snip net and then we'll give two second bracket first bracket so right now if you save it and then if you go to our browser and if we refresh so over here you can see the recapture option over here but it is saying over here localhost is not in the list of supported domain okay so the reason is uh, over here we add the local host and over here you can see it is the IP address so it will not work so over here instead of this uh, on to 7.0.1 we need to say over here local host 8000 and then we press enter and then over here you can see it is now working properly now let's just uh, say over here in the div we are going to say style it will be margin top uh, let's say 35px save then refresh over here okay there is some gap so right now the validation for recapture is not complete so for in order to complete it we need to add a if condition for this recapture that if there is an error or if someone did not click on this option then it will show us an error so for it we'll give a if condition if opening and if closing at the top int if and over here in the if we'll give to first bracket and we'll say over here dollar errors then this arrow sign has to first bracket then to single quotation and here we're going to say g minus recapture r-e-c-a-p-t-c-h-a response so we'll check if there is any error error means if someone did not click on this button then we'll show some errors so over here inside this if condition let's have a div and inside this div let's have a small tag and inside this small tag uh, we are going to just give to second bracket and let me just copy this error over here and paste it over here and here we'll just say error instead of has we are going to say first error first this one and here in the small we are going to make a class and it will be text danger okay so right now we'll save it and we need to somehow validate uh, this on uh, this i am not a robot option from where from where we are also validating the name email password and confirm password so for it uh, for registration the validation is in the app then action then in the 40 by folder if you go to 40 by folder here you can see create new user.php if we go over here here you can see the validation for name email and a password for registration so here just after the password we'll just give two single quotation and inside the single quotation we're going to let me just copy this and paste it over here and we'll say over here equal this arrow sign then to single quotation and indeed with a comma and inside this two single quotation we're going to say recapture r e c a p and that's all so right now if we save it then we'll just refresh here and we'll not at the first time we'll not give, uh, click on this i'm not a robot option let's just try without clicking on this so over here we're going to say user let's say here user at the rate of gmail.com and let's give a password confirm password and this time we'll not click on this option and if we click register here you can see invalid recapture we got the error message 
so right now let's keep the password again confirm password and this time we'll click on this i am not a robot option click over here and right now if you click on this register option here you can see it's reloading and it took us to the dashboard so this is how you can add recapture in your laravel registration form i tried to make this as simple as possible and i tried to explain as much as i can i hope this tutorial was useful to you and you learned a lot from this video if this was helpful to you then give a like leave a comment and i would actually really appreciate if you subscribe to this channel thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial